the last few years, I've tried a lot of different ways to create storyboards. Everything from finding reference images, to hand drawing, scribblings myself, to looking into generation. I've always found it to be a little bit inconsistent, a little bit not true to the style I was looking for and not quite capturing exactly what I want. But I'm gonna go through a method with you today to help you use ChatGPT and Adobe Illustrator to get your storyboards looking pretty sweet. I've made a different video that explains using visual DNA, actual DNA, photo references as prompts to create a consistent style. So I won't go over that too much here today, but the crux of it is I'm always generating in ChatGPT, I'm using photo references, and I'm crafting some visual DNA upfront to create consistency that I can plug back in over and over again. Here's a quick example of how that works. One, I find my photo references for characters and locations. Two, I find my stylistic references and the style I'd like to present this in. And three, I go ahead and make my generations and iterate over time. Here's a quick example of how I've made my own storyboard using reference images of my own that I've taken in my house. I decided to make a little coffee scene. The way I did this is I recorded some base, really simple footage that I could use to cast generation. What I've then done is I've gone and gotten some grabs from this footage. For simplicity here, I'm using myself as the main character, which makes it a bit easier for it to know what's going on. But you, potentially, could substitute in any character you want. All you really need to do is prompt through and go, okay, Here's this scene, you've illustrated this well as a base, please substitute the character out. And it should do this to a pretty decent degree. Why wouldn't I just use the photo based storyboard? It's a lot easier for me to manipulate particular things using the generation tools to demonstrate to the reader exactly what I'm trying to get across. Things that I might not have in my house or angles that I might not be able to perfectly capture. The first thing you need to do in ChatGPT is to provide it with some example images of the style that you'd like. You might have some existing storyboards, you might have some references of sketch styles that you'd like to use. And I'd feed it this so that for the future of your generations, it understands what style you're going for. I would then take my images and place them into ChatGBT and ask it to replicate that style. Now, chances are your first generation is not gonna be 100% accurate, but stick with it. Ask it to adjust things, ask it to widen the frame, ask it to refine the character, ask it to refine some features of the character. And I think over time, you're gonna get a pretty good result. Here you have the choice to annotate, add arrows, add diagrams, add directions, add some dialogue if you'd like, in order to help get your visual message across. And then lay these out in a really nice, clean, consumable format so that I can hand it on to someone else. What happens if I can't film my own footage? Now, this is perfectly okay. And I'm gonna put a caveat that it's up to you what your own ethical boundaries are here. I personally probably wouldn't do this too much, but an approach that you might wanna look at is getting some found images and working backwards from there. You can still prompt using found images. A lot of filmmakers and a lot of producers that I know are actually finding images using tools like Shot Deck, frame set to find these images anyway. So I don't feel like it's a big step to convert these to illustrations purely for the purpose of demonstrating a visual narrative. It's not like you're going ahead and you're turning this into a cartoon. There's parts of this process that you want me to refine further, please let me know too and add some comments below. I'm still generating and I hope you are too. Take it easy, bye.